Today I'm showing you how to make an orchestra song. So let's go. Go into your drums. And you don't have to change your tempo. Just keep it at 110 beats per minute. And click on the plus. And add 30 sections. And then choose roots. Click on the effects. Add just a tiny bit of treble. And a little bit of reverb. And then go into edit. Put out something. <coughs> go out. Zoom in and drag it out to three and go in again. And now zoom in even more and add some more snares. <coughs> zoom in on this one, make it half size, zoom in even more. <coughs> and you should be able to add eight snares before two. Now switch this back, <coughs> click on the second snare, velocity, <coughs> and have very low. And also click on this one and have it a little bit lower. And now zoom in, and you're going to have a very low volume on the first one, and then increasing the volume to the last one. So click on this one, and have it almost at the bottom. Next one, increase it a little bit. And the volume on the last one should be a little bit over the middle. And now click on the screen, Select them all, click on the green ones, copy, and paste them at two. But remove this drum, and add one extra here. So hopefully it will sound like this. And now loop it. And go to the track view, click on this track, and on automation, switch on this one, and put out the dot at the beginning, and drag it down all the way to the bottom. Put out another dot at 9 and add this one on minus 6 decibels and press done. And add a keyboard, choose synth bass and go down to substantial kick. Have the attack all the way up and the drive all the way down. Have the volume in the middle and go into edit. Just put out a note, go out, drag it out to 5 and go in again. And put out these bass notes below C2. And loop it. Add a new keyboard, choose other, and strings sustain. And drag the attack like this, going to the effects, add a volume in the middle, remove half of the bass, and go to the track view, copy your bass, and put it on your strings, but go into settings and click on minus on octave. And add a new keyboard, choose strings staccato, Go into the effects, have the volume in the middle, add half of the treble, and have the reverb also in the middle. Then go into edit, just put out a note, go out, drag it out to 5 and go in again. And put out these notes around C3. Make it 4 times smaller and zoom in. You can switch this back. Click and select all, click on the green ones, copy and paste it at 2. And then at 3, add some more notes. So all together. It. At 5 add a drum, choose Bluebird, go into edit, just put out something, go out, drag it out to double size and go in again. Now add a kick and a tom. And you have to zoom in a little bit. Loop it and add a new drum and choose Live Rocket. Click on the effects and drag the reverb to the middle. Go to the track view, copy your bluebird and put it on the Live Rocket at 5. 
but go into edit and remove the kick and just keep this one and now click on the track on your strings staccato and duplicate copy this clip and put it on the new one at 9 but go into settings and click on plus and octave and at 9 also add a keyboard <coughs> outside the keyboard oh yeah choose synth pads and Hollywood strings. Drag the attack like this and go into the effects. Have the volume around the middle and now go into edit and just put out a note. Go out, zoom in and drag it out to 13 and go in again. And add these chords around C3. together and also loop this one go into the track view now go to the track view mark all your instruments and remove them to 17 but also copy all the instruments and put them at 19 so all the instruments just start at 19 again and remove them all to 27 and now in this gap at 17, add a keyboard, choose synth pads, and E3 rhythm. Have the cutoff pointing up, and the attack all the way to the left. Go into the effects, and add full reverb. Go up one octave, and play this note, a C4, and just hold it all the way from 17 to 19. But while you're holding it, you should drag this one, from the top all the way to the right. I don't know if you can do it on iPhone, so just put this one where it sounds the best. And now record this. And make sure to remove it to 19. Go into the track view, click on this track and on automation, switch on this one and put out a dot at 17, drag it down to around minus 20, put out a new dot at 19, and drag it up to zero. And we're also going to add a loop, and go down to long crash symbol 5, and drag it out. Now click on settings, and reverse it, and make sure it stops at 19, you'll have to zoom in a little bit, click on the effects, Add a half of the treble and full reverb. And also add a long crash symbol 3, just drag it out under. Also add half of the treble, full reverb, but have the volume in the middle. And add a new keyboard at 19, choose other and brass ensemble. And have the attack pointing up. And go into the effects and have the volume a little bit lower the middle. Go to the track view and now make sure you copy your string sustain bass because this one is one octave lower. And put it here. Add a new keyboard, and this time choose flute. Drag the release a little bit to the right, go into the effects, add the volume a bit lower than middle, middle, add half of the treble, and add reverb so that it lines up with the treble. Treble. And then go back to the track view, and now copy your string staccato, that is one octave higher, and put it on your flute. But you will have to go into settings, and go up one more octave. Add a last drum, and choose a retro rock. Have the volume, just a little bit higher than the middle, add a half of the treble, and remove the bass. Now go to the track view, and copy the highest one, the snare, and put it here. But go into edit, click on the screen and select them all, and drag them up, to the symbol, the third from the top. And you're going to remove some of these. Like this. And the volume might go down, so go into automation, just click on it and click again, and make sure it's off. And now drag your volume to a little bit higher than the middle. 
And this is how it sounds all together. And that's about it, so thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you want to, and good luck with your song.